Crow, yeah. Crow is like my first like hip hop name. Yeah. It was, well, it was my name for like four or five years, but all through high school, yeah. basically. It was when I left high school that I decided to, to, to retake the name, you know, Kamal. It being my my middle name or an alternative to my first name. It's like, you know, my legal name, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, but before that, I was like, you know, Crow. Crow is like. A black bird that is often considered ugly or evil or and really it's just a bird <laughs> like any other bird you know what I mean like and people put all this you know you see like uh, you know uh, witches and ghosts and goblins and all this sort of stuff and there's always like crows like flying through the things they're supposed to be like dark and evil and all these sort of things and they're just birds like any other kind of bird it's just we've mm -hmm. projected all these things onto that onto the bird and so it's like I, I felt I felt very much like that like just as a person especially as a teenager like being a young black male in society in general you all these things are put on you like these labels are put on you and assumptions are put on you and that's why it's like the police deal with you in a certain way whether whether you've done anything or not or that sort of thing but I thought the idea of a bird uh, as well, something with wings, had to do with freedom and being able to like fly. And I would, bear in mind, I wouldn't have uh, articulated it this well when I was 16, <laughs> but that's what was in my mind, you know what I mean? Like that, you know, a bird is free. A bird can fly up and move in any direction that it wants to move in. It's, it's about, it was about freedom as well. And that's why I call myself Crow. <laughs> As they say, Jane made the front page after Boxing Day. These guns, you can get them off the streets of the shelves. So the youth make a purchase to protect themselves. Parents are aware of what the new reality is. Tragically, catastrophe where families live. And many black boys becoming men on their own. You won the lottery if you got a father at home. I think I had mentioned before, like, the guys from Pangea are like my best friends. You know, we all went to high school together, except for Na except for Natural, except for Terrell, who basically could have gone to Oakwood because he was there so much, you know? Um, but yeah, I mean, we really, we, myself, Danilo, Paul, um, although Kenny wasn't like, a f like officially, Kenny was like around for the whole process. He produced a bunch of songs, and Kenny Neal, that is, produced a bunch of songs in it as well. And the idea of Pangea was that it was basically this this project that we would work on as a as a collective of individuals who started doing music together who did their first performances together who went to the same high school who used to go to all the same places you know planet mars and like all these things that we used to do when we were young you know uh Hajil used to do this thing called inner visions <clears throat> you know spoken word open mic stuff a little bit later on and like we just used to do everything together and when we left high school we kind of all went in our separate directions you know it's like uh, Paul went to Ryerson I went to York Danilo went to OCAD and and it meant that we kind of started living these separate lives because we were we did so much together before and then we started living these like separate lives because we were like just in we we're doing different things you know people got into relationships and stuff and so that naturally like just starts to pull people in different directions so you can you still want to like hang out with your boy but you don't he doesn't have as much time as you you don't have as much time as you used to have and it's 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 difficult sometimes and I had met uh, I had met Kevin chaos and he had offered me space in his studio to be able to record and whatever and so uh, you know I asked him is it cool if I bring my boys along as well and we were just there I think even the first sessions that went they were there with me as well 
and we just stayed in the studio and was like, yo, we should like, we just, if we have access to this thing on a regular basis, we should just record something that's ours, like together. And that's kind of how it came along. The idea of Pangea was that, you know, Pangea was the name of the, 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 the world's land masses before they started breaking apart. That, mm -hmm. that enormous, it was just one big land mass in the middle of an enormous ocean, mm -hmm. you know, that occupied the rest of the globe. And, and what that landmass was called was Pangea, mm -hmm. you know? And it broke apart and became all the different continents, you know? And but, so the idea with us was like, music was the thing that literally made us come back together. And so the idea of Pangea was that it's like a reunification of this thing, like similar to this landmass that was called Pangea. It was like a reunification of these people who were always together and went apart, but came back together to do music. You know, and that was basically like the, the concept around the idea of Pangea and the Pangea project. Cool. You know.